You're recording. Okay, so now we're going to actually change her diaper, and she loves it. And um, first I take off the suspender. I leave the harness part on, and we'll go over that later. But basically we're going to go over the uh, pooper part. So I always change her outside on the grass or on top of a pee pad because every time you take the diaper off, um, you need to express her a little bit. And for her, when you express her, she pees. And I just use the diaper and I grab each side of her anus right here. And you'll see she's starting to pee because she knows what's going to happen. But um, I just squeeze right here just lightly. And that is actually releasing her bladder, believe it or not. And it's going right into the diaper. And then once, um, I, it's like a waterbed around a hard ball. Once you feel the waterbed go away, that I think is her bladder releasing. Then it's just the hard ball. And I start below the anus. If you can see, my thumbs are right below. And I push up. And again, I'm just pinching with my fingers, little by little. And here comes her poop. Not a great video, but we need to learn. <laughs> and you just lightly, don't press hard, because what you're doing is just squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And this is the peristalsis that the body would normally go through, but her muscles can't. And then you feel, and there's another one. So, see there's another one. So, we had good progress. Two poopers. <laughs> and everything's all contained in her diaper. And, um, didn't soil the, uh, pee pad. And then... I usually get a couple of baby wipes already out in preparation. And is that good? Yep. And then um, she just lays still. She doesn't wiggle, so it's good. And she's tiny. I have her laying right on my forearm, and she loves this. <laughs> so um, I don't have to bathe her every time anymore before the whole diaper thing we did. But. Um, her fur is a little uh, clumpy. That's because at night I use a desitin. And, um, or when I know I'm going to be away long, I use uh, the desitin on her, and so that clumps her fur. But um, we just try and keep this area as low as possible so she can stay clean. And... In the day, I just sprinkle baby powder. At night, I got this at Target. It's called Butt Aid. It's it's desitin, but a little less expensive. There are some all natural ones that I did buy, but an eight dollar two was like really tiny, <laughs> and I want her to be all natural, but we just can't afford all that. <laughs> so um, after we clean her all up, I just uh. All right, there you go. Just uh, spray a little powder Dry her up. on her little yeah. area. Flip her back over. And then I stick my fingers through that hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she stands, she's just very good. <laughs> she's just <laughs> anything for the attention. And then the Velcro part always goes around the belly. Isabelle's belly. And I keep it loose. And the reason why we want it this loose is because if you put it any tighter, she can't walk. Her legs collapse down. And this is a size 2. It has a big 2 on the diaper. That's what she wears. The size 1 would fit her well. And you could even pull this and make it tighter. But you want this gap right here. You want this air to come through. Mm-hmm. Because the closer the diaper, 
the more infection is going to come. Even though when she's laying down, she's going to have the diaper close to her, but at least it's saggy diaper. <laughs> it's saggy diaper, and she's not going to be always sitting in it, and um, less infection. Since we started using the diaper loose like this with the um, suspenders, she hasn't had any infections. That means no antibiotics, and she's doing good. So next we'll do the uh, suspenders. And what this is, is an ironing board holder, and there's two of them, I'll give you all those, but uh, I just put it, there's a smooth side, and that's the side I put against her skin, not this rough side. So I actually turn it upside down, <laughs> it doesn't look so pretty, but um, to put the clasp on the diaper, and then that holds her diaper up onto her harness so she can walk around and then the um, diaper's loose enough for her the air to circulate. Okay. So the way we attach the harness uh, to the opposite end goes to her harness or her shirt. So this harness is a really good one because it lets her skin breathe. She has to have something on all the time, meaning a diaper, so she has to have something on her upper half all the time. Since she doesn't have a front leg, not all the harnesses are going to work because she only has one leg. So this one is nice and loose, it doesn't choke her, and so she can move around as comfortably as possible. And this is a good apparatus for at home when you're not showing her off. <laughs> and. Um, it lets the air get through to her skin. And you do that side the same way as you did the diaper with the, Correct. the smooth with the, side down. Exactly. And um, because this is a little big, we can attach it up on the top or go underneath and attach it on the top because the, um, because the, whatchamacallit, is too... Elastic. Yeah, it's too long. The other one I have is knotted, but then it just knots like that, and she can move around. There are suspenders that are already made. I found them online, and I'll send you some links. The problem with some of those is that they go around the legs, and she doesn't have the legs. Right. The, and so it would just come off because we tried to make one. So. This is a regular just step-in harness okay. with the Velcro. So that's one way that we uh, do the diaper. Okay. So you want to you want to stop that? Sure. Okay. Shake it off, girl. Shake it off. Button's not hitting. Come on. 